Hi guys, I'm Mehdi from Mi Art Studio, and today I'm gonna show you how to use our new creation, the Fence Generator. Before starting, I should remind you that these days brave Iranian men and women are still standing against the brutal repression and killing by the Islamic Republic regime. After more than a month has passed, since the murder of Mahsa Amini, a 22-year-old girl, by the morality police, people want to establish justice and freedom in society. And today, we must be voice of Iran's people for woman life freedom. Zan Zendegi Azadi Okay, let's get started. At first, we have a simple chain link fence. If you click on it, you can see some parameters in the modifiers tab for changing the fence appearance. With changing the first parameter, you can change the fence height vertically. Like this. After that, with changing the second parameter, you can increase or decrease the vertical post's radius. Like I'm doing here. And then also you can increase or decrease the radius of wire profile with changing the third parameter. I hold the shift key to change it slower to find the best result. As you see I'm doing here. And also I can increase or decrease the number of horizontal components by changing the next parameter and you can see it's changing along the fence height. And you can control the radius of these horizontal components by changing the following parameter. I increase the rail count for a better view because you can decrease the rail count from bottom to the top by changing the following parameter. And you can see how it's changing along the fence height. Also, I can add some vertical studs along the fence length by increasing or decreasing the distance between them. I select the draw fence line and go to the edit mode, then change the fence length to show you how it's changing procedurally. And definitely, the next parameter is for increasing or decreasing the stud's radius, like I'm doing here. Here we have a bonus for you. If I change this parameter to 1, we will have bluster posts at the endings. And also, I can change the bluster height by the following parameter. Here, by changing this parameter, I can twist the middle part of the bluster around the z-axis as I do. By changing this parameter, I can increase or decrease the number of bluster profile sides. Now it has four vertices. I increase the number of the engon parameter to show you how it's changing. And also, you can increase or decrease the radius of the bluster by changing this parameter. At last, we have a parameter to control the bevel of bluster profile edges. How much I decrease it, the profile becomes round and vice versa. Okay, after all of these, I want to show you how we can edit and customize this fence in our projects. Then let's have some fun.